Hi guys, good morning. So welcome to next uh, tutorial on Android. So in this tutorial, we will concentrate on button and text view. How we need to handle that button and text view in uh, Kotlin, we will see. So for that, uh, I'm creating one new project. So just I'm selecting empty activity. Then here, I'm writing as a Kotlin button. So we'll see in Kotlin button. So because of that, here I selected the Kotlin. So click on finish. So once this project has created, just we will uh, create a one button and text view. I know how to apply the listener for the button. And once click on that button, how to set the text on Kotlin, we will see. So it's a compared to Java, it is little bit uh, lesser code. So how that we will see here now. So this I want to change as linear layout. So linear layout. So here already the text V is there. So I changed the linear layout first. So just I'll write this. Uh, text view example program. So text view example program. So for this, I'll leave the orientation. So that is colon orientation. So I'll leave the orientation as vertical. So then I'll apply a few properties for text view. So that is text size. So 20 SP. Text color. Text all caps true. So next is the text color, text style. So text style, italic. Next, text color. Okay. So I'll give some random color. Okay, then, so text alignment. So, then let, let it be then. We will add change as a match parent. So we will give one ID for this ID. So that is a TB1. Done. So like same, I want to create a one button. So this text view I'm changing as a button. So for this, I'm giving the big T1. So your text I'm changing as a click me. Done. So now I'm writing this Kotlin. So Kotlin here, I'm writing this. Uh, first, I need to declare the variable, right? So where button colon. So we need to handle here nullify condition as well. So button equal to null. So until nullify condition. Like same, we need to handle for the text view also. So text to view colon text to view equal to nullify condition. So handled here also the nullify condition. Then here we need to find out the button. So that is button equal to find view by ID. So r dot id dot so what is the ID we given for the button? VT1. So R dot ID dot VT1. The next text view equal to find view by ID. That is R dot ID dot TV1. So both are given, right? Then I'm applying the listener for this. So that is button dot set on click listener so i applied the listener 
So now here I want to set the text for that. So how can I set the text for this? So text view dot so text view dot set on click listener. So on click listener. No. Sorry. Button we have already applied on this list, right? For the text, we need to set the text. So here set text and get text both are the same. So we need to give the text. Hello. Good morning. Just I given here we need to give the prefix as a question mark. So now we can run this program. See, I'm running on my phone. Just we will see the output. So that's it. So simply with a simple this we can finish this. Here, once this is done, we will see the output. Yeah, it is launching. So we will see the output. See, I'm clicking on this button. See, text is changing. So this is the text. So thank you for watching. We will see in the next uh, tutorial, same program, how to handle with the data binding that we will see in the next program. Thank you. So get a more updates, please subscribe our channel.